Hey guys, Papa and Josie Homestead back with you again. Going to saw this tree down over here. And I got my little counterweight set up to it. Got Josie over here out of the way. So I'll set this up. I know you guys are probably getting tired of sawing trees, but that's all I got going on right now other than feeding. Uh, I'm gonna be able to raise bed here before long out of these pine trees that I sawed down. But uh, I'm gonna saw this tree down real quick and get back with you here. All right, we got that one sawed down. We saw a tree down, didn't we? Yay! Yay! <laughs> she says yay every time one hits the ground, but she won't do it afterwards. That's a real quick update. We got the brush pile burnt the other day. Uh, it burned up really, really good. And I think I'm down to about eight big trees in here that I want sawed down. And I'll have this whole corner sawed out. There's where the brush pile was at. It's gone. This is probably the best brush pile I've ever had burned up. It burned everything up completely like that. But, uh, I got a little video of the letting the goats out this morning. And show you guys that real quick. Me and Josie going to clean up this tree. Oh, her doctor stick. A doctor stick. Oh. Her doctor stick. Oh, her doctor stick, and she's out of snacks. All right, we'll get back with you guys here in a little while. Josie's going to check on the pigs. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Bubby. I let them out in the summertime because well, actually early spring. So this whole side of the road will turn green way before everything else does. Yeah, I might let them out today just to see what they'll do. And, yeah, Bubby's trying to get in the hay. And Missy's trying to Eat the residue of whatever snacks Josie's had. And Coco's just sitting over there. And Josie's made it up to the pigs. I'm gonna come out. I don't know if they see anything really to eat or not. I'll let y'all out anyway. See what you do. Oh, I'm gonna grab this pig feed and go up here and feed the pigs. But, uh, yeah, they usually don't run off. I said so last year, Bubby's sister was still here. She was kind of the leader of the herd. The only one that really run off from her was the billy goat that I had. He's gone. It's just these three. Bubby there should be the leader. Hopefully he'll stick around. Josie's up here shaking the fence, waiting on me. Sarah's got extremely, I don't know if it's aggressive. She's definitely, if she was bigger, she'd be a handful. I'm not sure exactly what she's doing. Open the gate. Open the gate. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Get on him. Get on him. Oh, get him. If you don't need any, anything, y'all can see. <laughs> see, she's a... I said she won't even hardly eat while we're in here. All she wants to do is... Come around and nibble on us. 
She's eating this morning. She's gonna make a liar out of him. Yeah, honey. We'll go in here and take it. Oh, let's come up here and get some water here in a minute. Oh. All right, I'm gonna lay you guys down here for a second. I'm gonna stand you up where you can see the piece. Set this gate back. I say I was trying to bite my fingers. I just needed a quick, simple gate to get these pigs in there, so I just got a piece of cattle panel. Held on with some staples that split them swing. Tied up with a couple pieces of electric wire there. Yeah. And goats following us up here. Oh, Bubby's finding some little pine trees over. Like I said, in the spring, I let them come out and nibble in a lot of this because it, it probably gets green growth on it probably a month before everything else does. Here they just let them out this morning. There's all kinds of little pine tree saplings growing up right there. This, uh, this whole area, like I said, right here is the corner of our property. Goes across the road and back down over the hill. But every bit of this was all the way down both sides of the, of the road here, which was old logging road. It was just covered in little small pine trees. Probably I had some of them just little bitty saplings, but some of them up to four or five, six inches, something like that. And every time it would snow, they'd droop over the road. But I find immensely cleared all that out. Cleared out this little lot over here where I got the goats. Y'all not eating very much this morning. Shelly is. Might be why she's so fat. Yeah, I figured I'd just let the goats out for a minute this morning. Let them get a little something different to eat besides what's in that lot. I'll pick around over a little bit. Stuff I got out of the wagon. I got her snacks and the bucket. And she's wanting snacks. No, you'll pour them out on the ground. I know how you are. I know how you are. That's Coco. That's Coco. What's Coco doing? What's Coco doing? Missy. Look, they're eating them little trees. They're eating them little trees. <laughs> yeah, they're eating them little trees. See where one of them's got dirt on your back. Crip and Char following us around this morning. Well, we're going to sell first the goats for a little bit. We'll get back with you guys here in a little while. Oh, I can't hit the stop button to close them. All right, get back with you guys here in a second. All right, guys, got that tree dug over to the brush pile. Yeah. Josie likes pine cones, and she found the jackpot earlier when I stopped in a pine tree. If you guys can pick all them up, there's probably hundreds of pine cones. She's been picking them up and putting them in this little blue feed tote, which she dumped them out a while ago. Char, are you going to help her pick them up? Char, are you going to help her pick them up? Huh? <laughs> Rabbit sitting here watching. 
All right, guys. Uh, hope you liked the video. Like I said, I know you're getting tired of sawing trees. Here for a moment, we get to saw firewood and split it. Uh, like I said, this is my kind of one of my goals right here is to get this big corner here cleaned out. And we'll move the pigs up here and let them kind of root it up and get some grass growing up here, hopefully. Uh, big, big thing for me trying to get grass. It's uh, ground is sandy and poor and hard to get anything to grow other than rocks. It grows rocks real good. But uh, appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Thank you for watching.